Uh, Rupert. Hello, Rupert. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I hope you can too. I want to buy stone for Privoslavets. I'm here at the behest of Sir Divish. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? Sir Divish has decided to rebuild Privoslavets, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need, then? Stone. Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. You need stone for the construction? Exactly. <laughs> Why is that a question? A you know that. Church. Well, now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, well. though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies, so Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. Splendid. So let's talk about the price. Yeah, let's talk price. Four thousand? Surely the stone belongs to Sir Divish. The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. Whoa! I want an even lower price, 3,000. Hey, that's still too much. But I can't sell my stone any cheaper. I wouldn't be able to pay my men. If you won't accept the price, we're done. <sighs> Man, you drive a hard bargain. Fine. All right, I accept. Excellent. We'll start sending the stone as soon as your merchant gets here. Goodbye. Yeah, that was expensive. Mm. Mm. All right, here we are in Semapesh, and we're gonna ask the bailiff here if we can buy some grain, and it is supposed to be the cheapest by half of what the other bailiff at Auschwitz wanted. Oh, private area, sir. How am I supposed to talk to you? Okay, uh, there's the bailiff. He's out and about walking the streets. Hello, Mr. Bailiff. I need to speak with you. Oh God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Uh, someone did attack me. Thank you for asking. I want to buy grain for Privoslavets. Have you got any grain to sell? You want it for yourself? No. It's not for me. It's for the villagers in Privoslavets. They need regular supplies. And what have you got to do with that? So Divish put me in charge. I'm the bailiff. Put you in charge of hauling grain? No, he, um... Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Can we buy from you? <sighs> it's all the same to me. I can let you have some of the crop. How much do you need? Well, I'll need uh, fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. My word. You must be a trustworthy wagoner if his lordship trusts you with a deal like that. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> How are you going to haul it from here? I've arranged it with a merchant who does just this kind of work. I don't mind sending you part of our crop, but it'll cost something. Well, of course. Yeah, I'll pay 80. Oh, that's a reasonable price. We'll shake on it then. Okay, we'll shake on it. Good luck, then. All right, we got the supplies that we need. I also got a hot tip on Mr. Rupert. I'm going to see if it's true. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm a little pissy with Rupert for charging me three grand, but <clears throat> I'm not happy. I'm not happy about yeah. it at all. Uh, but I am going to take that money back if I can. I read that you can pickpocket it, and I just so happen to be good at pickpocketing. And let's see if we can find Rupert and tell him what I think about him and his money-stealing ways. Looks like we might have gotten our money back. We're back up to 11k here, so that's nice. That makes me feel good. Uh, 
On the bailiff privis lowets. Bring it. Yeah, get him, mutt. Get him. Tell him what's up. Coming out here with a heavy hammer. Get out of here. All right, back in private slip. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Privis Lavitz. Um, and we got the stone supply. For We talked him down to 3,000. And then I promptly stole my money back. Because you could do that, apparently. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in the video or not. But I stole my money back. You can pickpocket back off of him. Uh, and then I went to Auschwitz for grain, and it was 160. And I said, nay, nay. And so I saw that uh, Samapesh actually does it cheaper. So I went to Samapesh and got it for even cheaper than that. So I got a few goodies I want to sell this guy. Hi. Try and increase his. Uh... God's blessings. What? Well, let's trade. What do you got? You got anything good? Got any books? Mm, nope. Nothing I want. Yeah, you don't have that much. Uh, and he's only got 500 in the wealth department. So we will sell him that and these. And uh, that. And I'll just let him have it for 466. Um, who's that? Malice. Or is it Malice? I don't know. We got stuff. I think they added that stone, and this is the grain. And then they'll add other stuff as you get it. And uh, I think you can get uh, livestock meat. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure. But we'll, let's do our judgments for today. Let's see what's going on. What is it this time? Um, we have a problem with water. That is, with the stream. With the uh, use of the stream. Oh no. The stream? What seems to be the trouble? Are you poo pooing in the stream, Sir, dude? They won't let me have a shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what's that? Your locator here won't let people go for a shit. Well, not in our water supplies. Um, <laughs> Master Locator, would, uh, would you be so kind as to cast some light on the matter? I never forbade anyone to shit to defecate it's not something that can be prohibited anyway you did so all I asked was that people did their business further downstream fair enough after all we don't want our water supply contaminated it could cause disease that's true uh, what diseases what kind of disease digestive disorders fever even death Ah, what a load of nonsense. We always poured our shit out right there on the road. Oh, that's disgusting. They didn't do that in Prague, for what I've heard. What else would they do with it? The cities are really that filthy. Is it true about Prague? Admittedly, in many cases, yes. But often there's no other option. The wealthier citizens have a latrine in their courtyard, which they empty out whenever necessary. The common folk do empty their chamber pots on the streets. See now. But it's also said that if the Turks ever try to attack Prague, it's the stink that will hold them back, not the walls. Uh, I mean, uh, what's your expert opinion, Master Marius? What do you suggest, Master Marius? Let the people answer the call of nature at least 100 feet downstream from the village. What? That far? What if I get the runs? I'd shit myself before getting there. <laughs> I've decided you can't decided. poo in our water. Um, yeah, we'll be fair. We'll say 100 feet. Defecating will only be allowed at least 100 feet from the village. But, sir. A wise decision, Henry. Well... Well, at least we have permission to go and shit again. I'll go and tell the fellows we can go to the stream. It's been a tough few days. <laughs> you mean you haven't been since... No, don't say it. I don't even want to know. <laughs> Where are you going, Master Locator? 
Lord. All right, well, let's get it to this rat house here and get some stuff built. I said I wasn't going to do everything all at once, but I'm kind of doing everything all at once. Um, we don't need a forge right now. We could do the bakery. And we're going to do the tavern. Cost eight grand. It's going to generate 500 gold for us. And then we'll we'll work on the, the uh, brewery and the dice games. Build it. Marius, there's work to be done. Good choice. Come yep. with me. A bakery. What a nice, lovely bakery. It's so cute. Ooh, you got an outdoor bakery, like an oven. Ooh. Imagine waking up, smelling fresh bread in the morning. Oh, go get a bagel. Nice, lovely pretzel. Hey, we've got our drying room done. A sweet pancake. Oh, that's why you got the chickens, huh? You got the cows from milk. That's smart. That's smart. That's really smart. Let's see. Is this a drying room? <gasps> it is. Oh! Ooh! That's cool. Okay. Well, that was a wise investment on my part. <laughs> Alright, I didn't know you could do that. I'm, I'm excited to use that. So now I can go like get get my own meat and dry it and not have to worry about anything. So that's pretty nice. Wicker Hives. Classic. Classic. Oh no, I don't play in the tourney anymore, guys. Leave me alone. You wanna fight about it or something? I'm allergic to bees, so, you know. Personally, I wouldn't mess with those. <laughs> we added a little bit of income, but building that really just kind of gave us... So we get 60 from that. I'm sorry, we lose 60. But, through the bakery, we gain... 50 for the uh, cakes for the tavern. We can, Okay. Drying shed adds 85. The honey cakes add 80. And because we have the tavern and we can make cakes, they sell them for 50 to the tavern. So. We get quite a bit of cash off of this. And now we're going to do the improvements here. We're going to start with the brewery. I'll add 300 for, okay so we're making a good bit of money off of this uh we won't have we get the mead from honey and we get the cakes from the bakery we're not going to get any money from the meat banquet and we're not going to get thirsty soldiers because we're not going to have soldiers but that's offset by the 120 from the trader with the stables so it's it's Marius, it's very intertwined <laughs> Good deal. Making our own brewery now. And we're making mead, so. That's the good stuff. I don't think I've ever had mead, personally. Built a brew, built yourself a brewery, and from now on, the innkeeper will be able to brew a local beer. Every time you, a new batch is brewed, you can pick it up from the vat on top of the kiln at the brewery. Drink responsibly. Purvis Labbit's boar. Ooh, that sounds good. Is that going to be our town sigil? A boar? Russian Lumir, a known pair of troublemakers. Fighting again, are you? What's it this time? Rook is a filthy, thieving magpie. This bastard is a fucking liar. Guys. You can insult each other in your own time, not mine. What happened? As you know, Master Bailiff, I've got a daughter, and this fu- uh, Rook here has a son. And like you'd expect, the son is as much of a beast as his old man. He put a belly on my girl and then turned his back on her. 
Ooh. A likely tale, you lying scoundrel. We're a decent, honest family, sir. But that daughter of his, nothing but a whore she is. Ooh. She seduced my son. And what's more, this thieving bastard stole my cow, too. Uh-oh. Enough swearing. One at a time, and settle down. Thank you, Henry. Keep him from cussing. What's this about the cow? What's this about stealing a cow? When that no-good son of his wouldn't do the right thing by my daughter, Rook here agreed in the end to give me a cow as compensation for her honor. And I did! Only then, that slut ran off with some minstrel. Who has the honor in that? And besides, it could be anyone's brat she's carrying. Mm. Okay, tell me about your daughter. Tell me more about your daughter. Pretty as a picture, and a good lass. Though a little flighty. She had her head turned by that cotscomb, and he put her in the family way. And then he wouldn't marry her. Mm. And who else would take her with a youngster? So we agreed on a cow in compensation. That much is true. Only, I'm sure you'll agree, Master Bailiff, where there's no honor to lose, there's nothing to compensate. A girl that runs off with some wandering jester. What could she do when she couldn't show her face in public? That's what you paid for. Mm. Tell me about your son. What about this son of yours? Well, he ain't the brightest star in the sky, but he's a kind soul and a good worker. That slut of a daughter of Lumia's got him all worked up, got herself pregnant, and then broke his heart. I talked him out of marrying her myself, because I'd rather give this bastard my best cow than my son. I won't listen to this. That boy is a simpleton and a brute. And for sure, my daughter never went with him of her own free will. I wanted no more to do with Lumiere or his damn daughter, so I agreed to the compensation instead of marriage. And no mm. sooner was the deal done than that slut ran off. And I want my cow back. You'll get nothing. A deal is a deal. It's your fault I've lost my one and only daughter. Mm. This is a tough one. I've heard enough to know how things really stand. <sighs> uh... Well, I mean, a, a deal is a deal. I think he needs to keep the cow. I kind of paid, paid him. So a bargain is a bargain. Whatever unforeseen may happen, the cow belongs to Lumir. Thank you, sir. I never doubted your wisdom. You call that justice? I won't stay another minute in a village where the bailiff takes a hand in daylight robbery. It's not. It's. <laughs> Uh, being unreasonable. So what, you want his daughter to stay for what? You didn't want your son to be with her? I don't know. He's, I'm getting worked up over this. <laughs> Y'all making me mad. Y'all making me real mad. Alright, what's our daily income? 975. Cool, 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 cool. All right, dice games. That's what I'm all about. Let's go check it out. Love me some dice. What's the matter here? This bitch here. <gasps> oh to kill oh my gosh. Have a clapped in the stocks where she belongs. That's not true, Master Bailiff, sir. He got drunk like he always does, and ate who knows what kind of slop somewhere. You know very well what it was what poisoned me. You're trying to get rid of me and don't think I don't know it. Man, you need to respect Enough. your wife. One at a time. Uh, ask the farmer. Tell me what happened. What makes you think she tried to poison you? She hates me. She wants to put me in the ground and then take the farm. I can see it in her eyes. She's just wishing for the day I'm dead. But she'll never see it because I'll throw her out on her ear. Throw me out from my own home? You useless, ale-swilling pig. Ooh. Have you forgotten who got you a roof over your head? Just look at her, sir. You can see for yourself what a harpy she is. I came home after one or two ales at the tavern, ate my supper, what was left on the table for me, and went to bed. And in the morning, I woke up with my guts in agony. 
My head was on fire. I thought my last hour had come. If it wasn't for the old herb woman, she'd already have me in the ground. Mm. Have you forgotten the part about battering me and throwing up in the doorway? Shut your mouth, you whore! Ooh, don't hit your wife, man. You sound like a piece of crap. Quiet. Good wife, tell me your side of the story. Sir, that beast is good for nothing but drinking away my dowry with his cronies. If he puts his hand to a flail at all, it's only to beat me with it. Ooh. We were thrown out of the farm near Ledechko that I got as a dowry. Because this fool let it go to ruin and got us into debt, too. They mm. threw us out because you wouldn't back me up to the bailiff. Because I couldn't hold my head up if I lied to cover your useless ass. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with you poisoning me. <laughs> he boozes from morning till night and beats me. Says I don't take good enough care of him. And all he does is sit on his ass expecting me to run around cooking and cleaning for him. And now he wants to drive me out of the village saying I tried to kill him. What would I do then? Oh, okay. Uh, tell me about the poisoning farmer. Tell me about how you were poisoned, as you claim. I came home and there was a bowl of cabbage soup and a pitcher of wine on the table. So I had it and went to bed. I woke up in the early hours and had to run to the outhouse. Spewing from both ends I was. I was burning up so much you could light a torch off me. <laughs> and this witch here laughing up her sleeve. She wouldn't even call the herb woman for me. I don't blame her. If I had to call the herb woman every time you get boozed up, she might as well move in with us. When I was writhing in agony on the ground, I heard her say clear as day, Ha! You got what was coming to you. Is that true? No, he's lying. Um, uh, okay. What do you think happened, good wife? Nothing what hasn't been a hundred times before. He was crooked as a bishop again, and I could already hear him in the courtyard, retching and spewing. I had his supper waiting on the table, because otherwise there'd be hell to pay. Only there's no pleasing the pig. Where's the meat? And what have you. And when I told him God's honest truth that there's no meat because he drank all our money away, he laid into me like a madman. Mm. One slap was all you got. What was less than you deserved for your evil tongue? It sounds like you're a POS. And hid in the barn till he'd calmed down. When I could hear him snoring like a pig, Honey, he came inside again. You should After not be living in fear like that. Throwing up and he was spewing till dawn. Who knows what he ate when he was boozed up. Or it was the booze itself done it. And what about the herb woman? I went for her in the end. Three groschen I had to give her for some wormwood potion. I could have done that myself for nothing. And then he claimed I poisoned him. Nah, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. Uh... Farmer, you're a brute. You, farmer, won't touch another drop of booze, or I'll leave you in the stocks to dry out. And if you raise your hand to your wife again, I'll take a bludgeon to you. But a drink or two? No. No buts. There'll be no half measures with you. Thank you, Master Bailiff. Thank you a thousandfold. You're a wise and just man. No, no, you're a piece of crap, dude. I'm sorry. Reputation lost? I don't care. You gotta respect your wife. <laughs> you sure can't hit her. Jeez, that's horrible. Alright, we are in Ladechko, and we're gonna talk to the butcher here. And thankfully, we get a bonus from the woodcutter's camp to... I don't know where I'm going. Uh, woodcutter's camp will give you 60 extra uh, income if they have meat to eat. And this is the cheapest place to get it for 30. So you get like a 30 net in net 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 net. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> net profit. Come on now. I'll get the words out of my mouth eventually. God be with you. God be with you. I want to buy livestock for purpose. I'd like to buy some livestock. Could you arrange that? Maybe. What are you after? Cattle, pigs, poultry, everything. <laughs> Starting a farm, are you? 
No. <laughs> Swords into plowshares? No, no. It's not for me. It's for the village of Pribislavitz. What? For the whole village? Oh, well, yeah. A few dozen people, at least. Ooh. Well, no. Uh, that's no laughing matter. But it can be done, although they might not be the best animals. What do you mean, not the best? Yeah. Well, it's like this. I've got to supply meat for the Lord's table, too. Mm -hmm. And the gentry in Ledechko want the best. Sure. So what's left for me, then? The animals might not be as good as what you'd get somewhere else. I'll sell you older beasts, ones that ain't so fat and the like. Or ones no one wants to buy, because they don't like the look of them. That's how it is. Mm. But for that, I'll give you all the better price. Have you got someone to herd the livestock there for you? Yeah. I've got a merchant to arrange it. So we'll shake on it? Yeah, we'll shake on it. Deal. Farewell. All right. Livestock from Ladechko. And now we just need charcoal. All right. We are here at the... Mm, Oh, hello. He likes me. We're at one of the charcoal burners. Uh, actually, you can. I want to buy charcoal. I want to buy charcoal. Of course, Henry. Anything for you. Oh, well, thank it you. More than you think. How much charcoal could you possibly need? Five bags. On a regular basis. <laughs> Haven't you noticed winter is over? There's a new forge in Pribislavitz. And I need to supply it with charcoal, seeing as how I'm the bailiff. Bailiff, eh? Well, I never. No. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's not a bed of roses, but thanks. All right. But we can't let you have that amount for nothing, even if you did help us with ginger. Don't worry. I wouldn't expect that. How are you going to haul the charcoal? I've got a merchant. I got a guy. Everybody asks that. Regularly with a wagon to pick it up. You just have to load it for him. As you wish. About the price. Yes. Yeah. 180, that's the cheapest you can get it. All right. We'll send the first load as soon as your wagon gets here. Good luck. Then. Well, thank you. What is it then? <clears throat> it's about this. I challenge you to a duel, sir. Oh. Uh, what? Okay. You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. Uh, what's this about? I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening is I'm challenging you to a duel, you disgusting man. I spit in your face. Eager, aren't you? Who are you, anyway? I'm, I'm Sir Olbram of Lossany. Pleased to meet you, Sir Olbram. So, what are you after? Uh, my... Mother sent me out to get some experience. She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. Mm. In okay. short, she sent me off looking for some virgin to save and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. Um. <laughs> a duel for what? You can't duel with someone just like that. There has to be a reason. But I thought knights fight for their honour, don't they? I suppose so. Only I'm not a knight. We ought to fight for something more substantial. Like what? Um, I'll fight for coin. No doubt you carry some coin on your travels, don't you? I, I do. So you can bet that then. Let's do it. Wait. Well, what about me? What do I get if I win? I'm giving you a chance to fight for honour. That's a valuable thing, isn't it? Let's get to it. <laughs> let's, let's get Wonderful. to it. Alright, let's go. Mm, bad start, knight. Bad start. Gotta build a parry. Block my attacks. Come on, parry me. Uh-oh. Did I kill you? Oh. Um. Uh. Are you gonna... Uh-oh. 
Uh, I didn't want to kill you. Hello. Wake up. Oh. Uh, uh, um. Well, you don't need it anymore. <laughs> Take your meat. Take you had three gold? <laughs> Rat's eye secret door key. Huh? Huh? What do you mean, Rat Tie's secret door key? Ooh. Ooh, I gotta find out where that's at. 